talk to an experienced cyclist about upgrading your bike and I'm fairly sure they will tell you that the most important thing you can do is to change the wheels. The theory goes that a lighter set of wheels will transform the way your bike rides and unlock new levels of performance no matter what the starting point. So we thought we would take a closer look to see if wheels really are the best place to invest your cash when upgrading your bike. As a starting point, we've got this Scott Speedster 40. It's not exactly an entry-level bike, but we think it represents the kind of price point at which you'll start to consider some serious upgrades. And our upgrade wheels is this pair of Reynolds Assault SLGs. Light, stiff, and aero, pretty much the holy trinity of wheel sets. First up, let's deal with the most quoted reason behind the fact that wheels are the best upgrade for your bike, the effect of rotating weight. Now, the theory goes that rotating mass of your wheels has an effect three times greater than the equivalent static mass, meaning that if you save 50 grams from your wheel set, that'd be like saving 150 grams from your frame. Or in this case, 800 grams from your wheels would be like saving 2.4 kilos. Fortunately, though, that is only partly true because Rotating weight has no greater or lesser effect on the power that it takes to sustain a speed, even when climbing, than the equivalent static weight. That's not to say though, that it has no effect at all. It does. Saving any weight at all from your bike will enable you to climb faster. The greatest benefit from lighter weight though comes from when accelerating and decelerating. It takes less energy to get a lighter pair of wheels up to speed than a heavier pair, making them more responsive. So from a standing start, I will save about 0.1 seconds by the time I get to 30 kilometers an hour. And that's about an entire bike length. It might not sound like much, but it'll certainly add up over the course of a three hour ride and in a race that can be the difference between winning and losing. Now you wouldn't have thought that kind of minimal difference would be detectable out on the road but I'm pretty sure that even swapping out an already decent set of wheels that came with this bike that I can feel the difference. The bike feels faster, climbs well and generally handles superbly but the difference might not be coming from the reduction in weight but actually from a significant improvement in aerodynamics. You see, the wheels generally represent about 10 to 15% of your total aerodynamic drag, although it can be as little as 0% or as much as 20. That might not sound like all that much, but if you swap out your wheels for a really aerodynamic pair, you might be able to reduce that figure by about 25%, meaning that your total aerodynamic drag will be reduced by about two to three percent and that is not to be sniffed at. Generally aerodynamics will have an effect that's much greater on your speed than light weight although the exact nature of your route or course will determine that but if you combine the right set of wheels that have both lightweight and aerodynamics then your bike is going to be significantly faster on just about any course. Clearly though, we need to put this in the context of other upgrades you can make for your bike. Now, first of all, I'm gonna discount training aids like a power meter. Because although these can make a huge difference, they rely on you putting the work in over a long period of time in order to actually make those gains and ultimately make you faster. I'm also gonna discount a bike fit, because although those are undeniably a good investment for your cycling, it's not exactly an upgrade. What about tyres though? A well chosen tyre can save a good few watts of rolling resistance. In fact, the difference between a really good tyre and a rubbish tyre can be as much as 20 watts at 40k an hour, and that's per wheel. Similarly, changing parts of your bike to increase your comfort is quite a good idea. So swapping your handlebars, your saddle, or even your seat post, if you're suffering out on the bike, could be a worthwhile investment. But while it might help you get more out of yourself on the bike, it's not actually making the bike itself go any faster. Gears are a common upgrade, given that they wear out anyway and regularly need replacing. 
But it has to be said that from my experience, there isn't really any performance benefit when it comes to replacing gears with more expensive ones when done on a component by component basis. But what is undeniably a performance upgrade is maintaining what you've already got. So keeping on top of your hardware, replacing like for like as and when needed will keep your bike running smoothly and efficiently and therefore making you faster. But despite all of this, there is one last factor to take into consideration, aesthetics. Now this is a can of worms. Many people feel, and we know they feel it because they, some of you, tell us in the comments section that making decisions based on aesthetics is shallow, a mugs game. And based on pure performance data from the lab, that much is true. But I'm gonna respectfully disagree with you. To me, aesthetics do matter. Now I think this bike looks good as standard, but replacing the wheels makes it look seriously cool. I would be proud to open my garage to a bike that looked like that. And that's value to me it should not be underestimated because perceptions and emotions have a very real bearing on performance. Now you, it may not surprise you to hear, are not a laboratory, hopefully not anyway. Humans are emotional and emotions affect performance. Feeling good is a great way to go faster. Fact. Is that a fact? I think, it's a, I think that's a fact. Fact. So are wheels the most important upgrades? Well, short of keeping on top of your bike maintenance, which kind of isn't really an upgrade at all, then yes, I think wheels do have the biggest bearing on the performance of your bike. Tires for rolling resistance, lightweight for lower inertia, and improved aerodynamics for outright speed. However, whether buying a set of wheels that cost more than your entire bike will make your bike perform better than a new and more expensive one is a matter for debate. You guys know what to do? Let us know in the comments section down below. Now, if you want to see a video about the top 10 other things we think might be worth upgrading, then you can click up there and get straight through to a video on that. Or for a video about all the different types of tyres you can buy, then click down there and you get straight through to a video about that. Before you go to either though, do make sure you subscribe to GCN. To do that, you can click on my, well, upgraded and quite fancy looking bike there. Just avoid that triple chain set. Don't click on that. I'm not sure what would happen if you did that, but yeah.